Hi there. I just thought I'd come on today to show you some of the pendants that I've made. Um, this is one that I've got on just now that I showed in an earlier video. And that's another one that I made. I like that one. Um, that's got the sun in the sky. And a nice ready orange landscape. Just a nice bright colourful one. Nice and cheery. This is the um, kind of ocean inspired one. This is another landscape one and that one the way it turned out it to me it looks like a man or a woman sitting at the side pondering or just relaxing. This is a heart shaped one. And that's a mixture of landscape and ocean. And this is really just whatever you want it to be. And it just makes you think of landscape, sky, ocean. And this is just a uh, green landscape one with the blue sky and a couple of birds flying. This is one with a, a little tree in it and a bird in the sky. This one's kind of abstract, but when you look at it, you can see what's a uh, sort of possibilities of what what's there. Sometimes it looks like there's a figure in it. This one's sort of abstract landscape, nice green. Shades. This one's um, just a kind of Im imaginary sort of abstract flowers and foliage. Just kind of dreamy kind of landscape, nature. And this one's patterns and just abstract kind of design. That's with the alcohol inks. This is an Aurora inspired one. This is another ocean, deep ocean inspired one. Um, this one's the moon. I don't really think this is so good, this one, but I picked it up anyway. And this is another deep ocean, under the ocean inspired one. The seaweed and 
glistening under the water. So that's all the pendants that I've got handy to show you just now. I've got this one here, it's quite interesting. I quite like this one, it's a bit different. It's just like a glass pebble, but it's um, to me it looks like looking under the water at the sand. Like looking through the water. It's quite nice. And I wanted to show you the resin coasters that I was working on the other day. And I just realised when I went to look at it that I've I've made a mistake that I'd previously made. So that was a bit silly, but um, it's been a while since I've done the resin coaster. So the pattern that you're seeing is actually what would be face down. So it's really nice. Uh, it's like fishies under the water and shells and sand. And I've used the green sweetie wrappers as like uh, seaweed coming up from the stones growing. Um, so I was quite pleased with that. And I wanted, really thought that would be the picture that you'd see on the coaster, but was forgetting that this is the bit that the cup's going to go down on that people will see. So I'm not sure, maybe just have a look and see what it looks like, but it will be completely different from the picture that I wanted. So I'll unveil it just now, see what it's like. And then if you ever want to do this, you will hopefully not make the same mistake that I've made. It might still be nice, uh, it'll be different. So no, it's nowhere near. It's not nice, so I think I'll probably keep it as a, a piece for the wall. So that's, that's it, is the way I wanted it, as a coaster. And that's how it's turned out, as a coaster. Because I'd done it the wrong way around. So when I was placing the objects that I wanted to see, I should have placed them back to front. So you've got to think in reverse when you're doing it. And I wasn't thinking in reverse. Okay. This is the other coaster will be fine because it was just coloured wrappers so this this should be fine. Yeah. What do you see? That's that coaster. So lots of coasters. They take a bit of work but it was really enjoyable and fun to make them so any questions just ask below and as I said you learn from your mistakes so take care speak to you soon bye hi there as you might know I've been making some resin coasters and the the last video that I made I uh, showed you the resin coasters and I'd done one of them back to front but I forgot to show you that after I'd done the resin coasters, I tried this out, this little silicon ball. Once I'd stopped the video, I filled that up and I put some of the holographic crinkly wrappy paper in. And it, I just unveiled it there and it's turned out really lovely. It's really cool looking. So you could hang that or you could like make Christmas baubles. You'd need to drill a little hole in it or drill through it. I'm not sure. And you could do smaller ones possibly for pendants. But I'm going to file around the edges because the, the spheres like this so and it came out, it had a little bit of a tiny rim round the middle bit. So I'll just like file that gently with a diamond file and just give it a little polish up.
and then decide how I'm going to hang it. Um, but it's really cute. Um, I'll show you something behind it to show off the colour of it. So you can see how cool it is. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that and how you can use different silicone containers to get different effects. Okay, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe and I'll be back to make more videos on creativity and well-being. Thank you for watching. Bye.